Greetings, and welcome to part 14 of our percussion series. This is using Essential Elements for Band, the second half of the book, the bell section. We're going to be on pages 18 through 21, focused on the black and gold belt on band karate. So this is numbers 90 through 106 in your book. So first one is number 90, variations on a familiar theme. So a theme is a melody, something recognizable, like in this case, twinkle, twinkle, little star, twinkle, twinkle, little star. A variation is when you take that theme and then you mess around with it. Maybe you add some new notes, maybe you change the rhythm. It's still twinkle, twinkle, but a little bit different. Here's number 90, Black Belt song, by the way. One is your next black belt song. This is a banana boat song. This has a DC alfine. DC stands for da capo, so that means the head. Alfine is to the finish. So basically, what we're going to do here is it's telling you to go beginning to end of the song, and then when you see DC alfine, you go back to the beginning or the head, and then you stop where you see the word fine. It looks like fine. Okay, so notice if you're looking at 91, you go beginning to end. DC alfine means you go back to the beginning. And then you've got the fine. It's got a little double bar there. So that's what we're going to do for this one. Start on high B flat, this one. back to the beginning. Then you end. Alright, next look at 92, Razor's Edge. This is an E, not E flat, E natural. So it's right here on your bell. So you find the E flat, the first one you learn, then just go up a note to E natural. Sounds like this. Looking above it, you notice they have a natural sign. Those two little spikes in the box there, it cancels out a flat or a sharp. So if you have like an E flat, but they put that natural sign on it, it means you're going to play E natural. If you have a B flat, but then they put a natural sign on it, you would go to B natural. So let's play number 92 using E naturals. Very nice. We're going to uh, turn the page. We're going to go to 99. Take the lead. This is a high A natural. So A flat you learn. A natural is right here. Let's play number 99. Starts on F. Now you wonder, why are you using A natural instead of A flat? Well, that's that key signature. Um, whenever you have, in this particular case, you have a B flat and an E flat there, so that means only E's and B's are using the black keys here. Everything else is going to use the gray or the white keys in front. If they wanted A flat, they would have to put a flat sign on there too, or on that directly on the note. Okay? Um, let's take a look at the roll. Halfway down the page, on uh, page 20 there, you see a roll. <clears throat> it says, rapidly alternate single stroke rolls as smoothly as possible. Release the roll on the tied note or final beat with the same hand that started the roll. Rolls are usually found in xylophone and marimba music. So let's take a B flat. And we're basically just going to... Think of it like 16th notes. One again, two again, three again, four again. Okay? That's what a roll is going to be. Um, let's take a look at 106, Marsh Militaire. 
This is your gold belt song. Yeah. Yes, there are a lot more concepts in this book. A lot more. But for our purposes, for the karate belting anyway, uh, 106 is our last one. <clears throat> Take a look at it. Allegro is your tempo, so fairly fast. E flat, B flat in your key signature, so your A's are natural A's. Uh, two, four times, so two beats in a measure. Notice the first two measures, you go B flat, F, E natural. Low E natural. Okay? That's the low E natural. So make sure you're, you're really thinking about that. The key signature is E flat, but because they want the first two to be a natural, they put it on the note. Um, notice that you have a roll on that F. Okay? And then it keeps going. By the fifth measure, you notice that you have an E, and then in parentheses there's a flat sign. That's just reminding you that it's supposed to be E flat. It's just a courtesy. Because the key signature has E flat, so they didn't have to put it on there. But because they started the song with only E naturals, those first two E's, the composer decided to put one in parentheses just to remind you, hey, it's E flat. All right, let's give this a whirl. Alrighty, so that's Gold Belt. One more just kind of thing in this area I just want to talk about, uh, in, so in case you decide to go further, is look up back on page 20 here. In the middle of the page above the roll, I talked about a new key signature. So look at the picture. You notice there's only a flat sign on the B line. So that means that B is the only thing flat. So you would use E naturals, A naturals, everything else would be natural. So always look at that key signature. You also have the multiple measure rest in there. So the number above the staff tells you how many full measures to rest. If you've already done the breeze easy stuff, then you already know this. But let's go over it real fast anyway. So in this, per, in this case in the orange box, there's four beats in the measure. And that two means you count to four two times. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four. If it was a three, you'd count to four three times. One, two, three, four, two, two, three, four, three, two, three, four. I like to change that first number to reflect the number measure that I'm on of resting because it helps me keep my place. Otherwise, if I'm going one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, I forgot where I am. Okay, that's how it helps. If you're in a time signature of, uh, time signature of say, two, four, you would count that many times two. So if you're in two, four, and you have, say, a three multi-measure rest, you would go one, two, 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 three, two. Because again, that number reflects the number of measures you're going to count rest. So every, you know, the measures are going to have different numbers depending on how many beats are in each of them. Okay, so if you finish this, you have finished Gold Belt. Congratulations, you are awesome. Um, not many kids get this far, so really cool. The next video is going to focus on what are you going to do next? Keep on practicing, and we'll see you next.